Well hello there everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm Steve from Wonders GTA Gaming and today I have something a little special for you. And that is the Tomb Raider Remastered Trophy Save Pack Part 1. And what this save will actually allow you to do is unlock some of the hardest trophies in the game and some of the more obscure trophies. Some of as low as 0.1% of players on Steam actually acquiring these things within seconds or requiring very few steps whatsoever. And this guide will not only show you how to download and install the save file pack, back up your own saves, but also show you what every single save slot has, what trophies they unlock, and the simple steps to unlocking them trophies. And with the games being limited to 32 save slots per game, 15 to 20 of them maybe are for level selects, um, essentially part two will be for the DLC of them games. So if you're looking for them, please subscribe to the channel because part two will be coming soon and I've already started working on part two of this pack. And as you may imagine, across three full Tomb Raider games needing multiple playthroughs to set these trophies up properly in the save slots, I've literally spent over 100 hours so far just setting this one save pack up to a point where I now I'm happy to release it, getting the maximum amount of trophies for you all to enjoy. So of course, if you enjoy this video or the save file pack has helped you out, then please hit the like button as well that really really does help and is much appreciated and before we get on to the install steps for part three potentially there will be a part three um, put in the comments down below any trophies you're having problems with in the main games that aren't included in this pack and if i get enough requests for different trophies i will set up save pack part three as well so hopefully you comment and uh, i'll start writing these ideas down after i've completed part two so let's get on to the install steps then and in the description there will be the link to this web page to Nexus Mods and my um, Tomb Raider Remastered Trophy Unlocker Part 1. Um, and as you can see it's currently not published because I want to publish this at the same time as the video gets published. But essentially on this page there will be a Files tab and uh, just choose Manual Download on that. It's a very small file, 200k. Yeah. Just do a slow download there. Okay, lovely stuff. So here it is. This may download, go somewhere else. It depends on where your downloads folder is, what version of Windows you're on. Yeah, but essentially you will now have the file. Okay, so once that's there, click on that. I'm using WinRAR, depending on your operating system or what file um, thing you use. This is a zip file. Um, it's supported by Windows as standard. It may look different in the window to you, but this is how it will look. And I am going to show you how to install this for the Steam version. This will work on the Epic and GOG versions, but I have no idea where the save locations are going to be for the Epic or GOG versions. But once we've found the save file location, the steps will be exactly the same. Okay, so for Steam, to find your save game location, okay, we want to go to local disk C on your own computer, users, your username, app data, okay. Now in here, app data may be hidden, so you can change that in folder options. I'm not going to go into that, but if you're not sure how to show hidden folders, just look up a guide. There's tons of them, okay. Uh, so then app data, roaming, Scroll down to the bottom there, ish. This You'll have different folders in here, but it's the TRX folder you're looking for. Okay. Now in there, you'll have a long number folder on the Steam version. That is your own unique kind of identifier. You won't have a backup folder, but I'm going to recommend you create a folder in here called Backup. Okay. And once you've created your backup folder, go into the long number folder, and these are your save games right here. Okay. So what you want to do is just copy those, yeah, and put them into the backup folder like so. So then if you do want to go back to your own saves, just go into your backup folder and copy them back into this folder, okay? Simple as that, and replace the ones that I've given you. Now for Steam, there may be something called Auto Cloud, where it's actually um, kind of used the Cloud Sync feature. So... I would recommend disabling that for this save file pack. So just go to settings in Steam, go to cloud and just 
change that so it's disabled so the steam cloud is disabled otherwise it might keep trying to put your save files on top of this trophy save pack and with that done we have these files here all you need to do is just go into the zip that you downloaded from the nexus there there is the readme in there you don't need to copy that across it's basically the description of the mod and basically the loose script for this video in all honesty but in here you'll have the save game um, dot dat dot back and save game dot dat okay so all you need to do is copy those two into here and replace the files in the destination just make sure before you do that that you've backed up your own saves because then if anything goes wrong or you want to go back to your own progress or something you can just go back to that okay even though my save file has level selects for all levels and everything but there it is it's now installed yeah it's now installed you're now able to load the game as normal and um, yeah, then we'll get into the step of actually what each of the save slots contains and how to unlock the trophies within. Lovely stuff. If you have any problems with that, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you do know the location of the Epic or GOG installation file paths for this save file, please put it in the comments because like I say, there will be a part two and potentially a part three of this and having them save paths would be very, very helpful. I just don't have the Epic or GOG versions. Okay then, so upon loading in, you'll come to the Tomb Raider 1 menu and go to the game selection there and you can see all of these save slots set up. Now the first slots here are all level selects up until 79, so all the way up to 324 is every level there and these saves are all from the all items, uh, no medkits used, pistols only. Uh, playthrough so you'll have the most collected of everything up until that point apart from number 27 i forgot to make an entry for that but there's plenty of items that you have in there anyway and this is your ideal place to be sniping trophies um, from any level essentially because if you use level select it kind of disables some achievements so loading via these level selects will solve that issue you can get all your um, trophies from them slots so the first one we're going to be starting with is number 79 and as we go down the list this is all the all the other slots that I've set up okay so we'll start at number 79 here and uh, just load in okay now this is set up right at the end of the Atlantis chapter all you need to do nice and simple just hold forwards or run forwards depending on what control scheme you're on and slide down the tunnel till the level ends and for this you'll get the hard boil trophy which is for pistols only, only play for sport, which is complete the game in under five hours, um, hardy raider for using no med kits in an entire run, play it like you did on console in 1996, which is to complete the game using less than 86 saves, and the Cataclysm of Atlantis save. If you've not finished Tomb Raider 1 already, that trophy will pop for finishing the Atlantis chapter. Now, some of these trophies are 1% trophies. So, yeah, you've just literally got some of the hardest trophies in the game just for running forwards. Okay, <laughs> we're back at the main menu again. So we'll hit load. And for this one, it is beat the game on new game plus, which is consolidate the material. Okay, so I saved here at the last possible point that you can save after defeating the final boss. Now, because of where the save point is, you do have to do a little bit of platforming here. Um, that's the final boss there that's dead. Natler is already dead. I've set up another save for um, the trophies to do with killing here, okay? But I wanted this one to be as simple as possible. New game plus, um, you take more damage and everything. So that little gap I just jumped in there, basically I will probably speed this footage up. Just complete the last linear bit of platforming to get to the end of the level okay so i'll catch you in a second enjoy the sped up footage and there we are just finished that linear bit of platforming from down there basically just jump to every platform that you can see and make your way through the tunnels that literally took me about one minute you know if you're better at the game probably 40 seconds if you did it right just slide to the end and then once you get the end screen for the level um, or 
the actual final screen here is when the consolidate the material trophy will pop okay and that trophy is a 0.6 percent trophy yeah you didn't have to fight a single enemy nothing just finish the last bit of platforming that was the last point i could say for that one so that one is done okay so the next one on this list is 184 the tomb of qualapec there simply load into this and bearing in mind there will be a guy trying to shoot at you um, this is for the codex of peru and unfound tomb of qualapec trophies so as soon as you start this just jump forward into the water move through this tunnel and as soon as you get to about here the chime will sound and you will get the trophy you don't need to go and pick up the items there the secrets for tomb raider one are counted as just when the chime happens so you don't even need to get the items you got loads of med kits to deal with this guy as well and other weapons so essentially just hop out of the water um grab whatever gun you like i've only got three shotgun rounds that's fine and finish this guy off okay easy peasy he is now dead and you will get the unfound tomb of qualapec trophy for finishing the peru chapter okay it will load the next level but we're going to go back to the main menu or you can load from the list right here which is also what we can do um, so this one's 237 tomb of tehoken this is for the codex of greece trophy for all greece secrets okay okay so for this one i've set this up as close as i can to the secret without it chiming because as soon as i finish this little jumping puzzle the chime happens for the secret so all you need to do is time your jumps jump forward jump to the left jump forwards jump forwards jump to the right and jump forwards and then the chime happens and you will get the codex of greece trophy pop yeah 4.7 percent trophy you don't need to pick up the items that's fine we can literally just do the next um save <laughs> which is what we'll do okay so there's a few here that you can get Bear in mind there is a guy down at the bottom trying to shoot at you. I will just go into um, photo mode a second for the free cam. As you can see here there is the floating oozes. As soon as we jump and land on that platform the codex of Egypt secret will chime and you'll get, well the secret will chime you'll get the codex of Egypt trophy. I've lined this up so you just need to literally jump, run forwards and jump at the last moment and you'll land on that platform. Okay, so... Let's uh, make sure this works. Run forward, jump. Yep, okay, and then pick up the oozes. Oh, that made me jump. And as soon as you pick up the oozes, you'll have two trophies that pop. You'll have the Codex of Egypt and do, do Uzi, as in do you see, this one trophy, okay, which is for find the hidden oozes in Egypt. We can reload that save as well because there is one more relatively easy trophy for this you can just drop at any point on this sphinx any ledge you can grab okay um, i'm just going to try and find a ledge <laughs> yeah any ledge you can grab on this sphinx there's numerous yeah i'm just going to look for one uh, that one there will do yep from where i've set the save up you can literally hop back and grab hold your walk button and move forwards to a handstand on the sphinx's head that'll give you the pet this cat trophy as well just as a little bonus okay <laughs> that's another trophy done there awesome so next save slot is for 335 okay and there's a few more trophies we can get here as well so looking straight ahead you can see that swinging uh, blade trap there now there is an after us the deluge trophy which is for shatter all um, floor panels in one playthrough. That's the final floor panel. And once we've run and jumped across that, we land in here, which is the secret area, and that will give us the Codex of Atlantis trophy as well. Your jump here has to be quite specific. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best <laughs> to, uh, to get this right. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking one step back there, I'm not even going to time for the axe trap because I've got plenty of med kits. It doesn't really matter. Just run and jump. And I've done that all wrong. <laughs> we'll try that again. This is a good thing with these saves. If you mess it up, you can just keep retrying. Okay. So I'm going to try and jump from about there this time. That's it. Run and jump again. And for that, you will get two trophies. Okay. You'll get the after us, the deluge trophy and the codex of Atlantis trophy. Now, also as well. You can see down in this pit, there is um, 
water surrounded by fire all you need to do is you do a swan dive which is hold your walk button and forward jump and you'll do a like a, a proper dive swan dive into this water yep it is spaced pretty well and just land into there okay and then you will get the bullseye trophy as well lovely stuff okay into the pulsating room yeah that's all good so that's that's good <laughs> we're getting somewhere with this okay next up is um three five one on the list and once again just run forward to finish the uh finish the level here and for this you will get the leave them sucking wind trophy which is a 0.6 percent trophy and that's for killing every single enemy in a single playthrough next up on this list 191 this is in saint francis folly now this isn't set up for any one specific trophy what this is if you've not played through tomb raider 1 you'll not be familiar with this room but essentially in here is four different rooms you've got the neptune room thor's room the atlas room and i believe it's the neptune room or poseidon room i can't remember which one it is in every single one of these rooms there's at least one trophy and they all need switches to open so i've gone through this not doing the rooms saving them for last killed as many enemies as i possibly can in the room as well and opened all doors so all you need to do is um go to the um, link in the description there's um literally a page there from the steam community where it's every trophy listed by level yeah and just look up all the god room trophies some of them are very simple they are quite simple anyway and in this room you can literally get um the so salacia trophy i'm no heracles you are really loki thor's mercy exaggerated threat dionysus wisdom so from here there's six trophies you can get literally within the space of a minute or two but i'm not going to go through all of them because there's a little bit of puzzling and jumping involved okay but that's fair enough i've set that one up there for anybody who missed out on the god room trophies okay Next up, this one is for the Ave Lara Trophy, slot 202. And just beware in here, there will be monkeys that come running at you, okay? So just be ready for them. Make sure you're stood in this box, okay? And kill, kill the two monkeys that appear. Make sure that you're in this room when you do it, okay? There is another monkey coming, another gorilla, okay? Just wait for it to come, okay? Because um, there is a little bit more of the level to do for this, which I'm not going to explain. I'm going to link in the description a video for finishing this one off. Okay, I'm just going to bait him into this room. Okay, just trying to bait this guy. Come on, I'm over here. Yep, thank you. There we go, kill him. And then from up here, I've got about halfway through the level. Obviously, I will link a guide video of how to complete this. Up here is all the animals that are basically spend ages avoiding doing the level and not killing them yeah that takes a lot of effort to do i'm not kidding it took a lot of patience to do this so from up here just whip out any weapon okay and just make sure that you're stood here when you're killing all of these enemies there will be nine in total but you need 10 for the trophy okay so i'll link the video the badass games video very good guide series that i used for completing this level so once you've uh, progressed the level a little bit more the tenth enemy will appear just make your way up to the box it's all covered in that video anyway and for the slot that included the codex of egypt trophy that was actually really far away from the level um, level end so for this one 280 the save slot is literally right at the end you just need to press the button there the action button to pick up the ski on and then that ends it and then you get the little vacation riots over over trophy for finishing the egypt chapter okay lovely stuff so I'll wait for the next level to load we don't need to do anything in the levels because i've set these up in such a way um the next few are all in natla's mines for bosses okay so i'm not actually going to kill these bosses but they are right here this one is for killing the cowboy boss yep simply kill him we've got loads of med packs as well if you need to heal up all you do is kill him and then you get the it's personal now trophy that's it okay i'm not going through all the boss fights i'm just just letting you know 299 is for the yes i'm firing at you trophy um, as soon as you run into this room it triggers a skater boss skater boy boss okay you can kill him with whatever weapon you like just kill him yep 
Yeah, and then you get the yes, I'm firing at you trophy. Okay. After that, we've got 302, which is for the cheese trophy and kill the bald man with a shotgun trophy, which is shell sucker. The, the shotgun leading up to this is actually hidden. So I've got the shotgun. I'm ready to kill the bald man. I think I did whittle his health down a little bit as well. No, I didn't. Just stand here. You can get behind him to avoid a bit of damage as well. Just make sure you kill this guy with a shotgun. Okay. That's it. Yeah, nice and easy, really. You know, just stay behind him. You got med kits anyway. Yep. And then he says shell sucker as he dies. Then you get the cheese and shell sucker trophies if you've not completed Tomb Raider 1 already. Okay. Lovely stuff. So, 322. This one is for the Be Like Prince trophy, which is right in front of what's known as Bacon Lara. Yeah, which is Lara's doppelganger. Okay. Simply complete the puzzle. Yeah, make sure you don't shoot the doppelganger because it'll shoot right back at you. Yeah, just complete the puzzle. For anybody who's played Tomb Raider 1 before or cleared Tomb Raider 1, you will know exactly how to beat this boss. Okay, not really a boss, but enemy, shall I say. Yeah, you just pull this switch. Okay, run and jump over to them platforms. Yeah, and stand on a block, which is about here. Yeah, and the doppelganger will fall into the mirror side which is this trapdoor that opens, and you'll get the Be Like Prince trophy. I'm trying to keep this a bit swift because we've still got two more Tomb Raider games to get through yet, okay? <laughs> and uh, we've got two more slots to go here as well, okay? One more slot, should I say, okay? So 337 is the next one, and this is for the Yes I Am trophy and Cases Like Chickens Come Home to Roost, which is a 2% trophy, I believe. So make sure you select the Magnums. As you can see, this is the All Items run, minus the one that's bugged. I know, it hurts me to say it after all the time I've put in. Run into this room, there will be the final boss, Natler, floating around somewhere. Where is Natler? Up there, okay? So just make sure, make sure you beat Natler with the Magnums, and then you get both of the trophies, okay? Bearing in mind, she does die once and come back to life, so you have to beat her twice, yeah? And once you've done that with the Magnums, you'll get the Yes I Can trophy, and Cases Like Chickens Come Home to Roost trophy for killing her with the Magnums. Killing her anyway for Yes I Can, killing her with Magnums for the second one. Okay, awesome stuff. Let's get on to Tomb Raider 2 then. But real quick, before we go on to Tomb Raider 2, um, Literally, as I was editing this video, a new update dropped for the Tomb Raider Remastered Trilogy, and uh, essentially it fixed the Tomb Cleaner trophy. So, um, after the save you just loaded at 337 for the Natla fight, there will be 379 right here, so make sure you load into this if you want the Tomb Cleaner trophy for collecting all items in a single playthrough. I did mention this earlier in the video for a different save slot, um, and I may have put that in annotations somewhere as well. All you need to do is just load into that save there, 379, and pick up them clips, and you should get the trophy to pop. You may also notice that in loading some of these save slots, you may have also got the deadline trophy, and that's for finding all 36 ways to die. If you didn't get that, just die any way you like, and it should pop for you, okay? Awesome, let's move on to Tomb Raider 2. So on the Tomb Raider 2 menu here, go to game, and as you can see, there's all these slots set up. Now these are a little bit out of order because this top slot is for trophies. All the rest of these are for level selects, okay? But we'll, we'll deal with that when we come to it. First of all, just load up 332 right here, okay? And this is for the souvenirs from around the globe trophy, which is all collectibles in a single playthrough. The I think I've seen enough trophy, which is for finishing the home sweet home chapter. And I really think I've seen enough for killing this final boss in the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do all of that. I've lowered him down to the lowest amount of health, so don't kill him right away. Okay, you can tank a lot of health, you've got loads of med kits. Just as soon as you load in, just grab the shotgun shells right here, and the trophy for all collectibles will pop. Then all you want to do is run into the house. Okay. There we go. All other enemies are dead. Okay, into the house. Up here. Yep, up the stairs. You might get a couple of shots off on you. Okay, up here. The only weapon you have for this is the shotgun. Loads of ammo in it. It's all good. Yep, just round here into this room. 
into Lara's bedroom here. Okay, and what you want to do is just hide in the shower. Okay, get the shotgun ready and hide in the shower. Yeah, you can use um, the free cam, do you know, like that to see where he is. He's coming. Okay, use the look button there. Just make sure he is fully in this room. Okay, ideally just wait for him to appear and then bang. Okay, and that will also get you the, uh, I think I've seen enough, and I really think I've seen enough trophies for making him appear in the final cutscene where she's about to have a shower. That's that one done. You've just got the All Collectibles trophy, which I believe is like a 1% or less than 1% trophy on Steam. Okay, so that's that. Done. You don't need to do anything else. You can see how long that playthrough took. Wow, okay. So the next ones are all level selects. These are from the all collectibles, pistols only. No med kits run. So at the start of each of these levels, you literally have every possible thing collected. Weapons, ammo, med kits, flares, all that good stuff. Okay, so as we scroll down, I'm looking for slot 500, which is here. Okay, all the rest are level selects, okay? And all you need to do is exactly the same as before, pretty much. Okay, just waiting in the shower, wait for him to show up. Yep, yeah. and as soon as he appears, just blast the guy. Yeah, that's it. And then you get the finish the game on New Game Plus trophy, which is starring one more time. And I believe that's a 0.5% trophy at the time of making this video. Okay, so... <laughs> You've just finished the game on New Game Plus, essentially. That's one of the hardest possible things you can do in the game. And there you go. It's literally just done right there and then. Lovely stuff. <laughs> it shouldn't be that easy. Okay, so next up is 56. This is for the Codex of Italy trophy. And when you load in, it's right there at your feet. Just press the action button to pick it up. And you've now got the Codex of Italy trophy. And also, if you want to just turn around and leave this area, okay, just do like a forward jump and grab to get down there. I've already opened the way up, I believe. Nope, just press this button. Okay, and then you get the Fight Off Bees trophy for shooting out all of the Bartoli windows. And I've done them all apart from that one, okay. There is more throughout this entire level, okay. So you can just climb up or jump and shoot or whatever. This last window... Yeah, just shoot it till it breaks and then you get the fight off bees trophy as well. Yeah, for doing that. Lovely stuff. So we go back to the um, save selects. Uh, 59, okay, load game on 59. And all you need to do, yeah, is finish the Venice chapter by running into this plane. Then you get the Via Caravelli Venice trophy. Yep. I believe there's now an unskippable kind of cutscene as she's getting up because she's been kind of captured. So I'll get back to you in a moment when I can actually select levels. Okay, so Lara is up. I can now go to my uh, save selects here. Next up, 75 on the list. We'll hit load on that. And this is for the Codex of Bartoli um, achievement, which is collect all secrets in um, the offshore levels. Okay, there we go. Got it. Done next up okay so next up we have 147 which is the deck level okay now all you need to do is just press the action button to pick up the secret there and that is for the codex of maria doria which is all secrets in the maria doria levels there are two more trophies to get here if you've got a moment just to bear with me on this quite quick to do you'll lose a bit of damage there to make sure you fall down here Select the M16, because it's got plenty of range for shooting these two flamethrower guys. Don't start shooting until you've got a good good shot on them, because these guys can be a bit annoying. Okay. Right, that's definitely one dead. Yeah. Okay. Two dead. Okay. Now what you want to do is line up with that box, the first box down there that I'm looking at. Okay. Just jump forwards and try and land on it. Okay. Just a standing jump over to that. And the level end is just over here. Okay, for this you'll get the We Are Searching for the Right Place, which is finished the Offshore and Maria Doria levels. And also a very, very difficult trophy a lot of people have been having problems with called No Fish Soup Today, which is do all three of the uh, underwater, offshore Maria Doria levels, whatever, without hurting sharks 
without letting them hurt you either. Yeah, so open that door, run in here, pick up the Seraph, and then you'll get the searching for the right place trophy and the no fish soup today trophy as well. Okay, there's a little bonus on that save slot. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Okay then, so next up is the slot 321, save 321 should I say. And this is for the Codex of China trophy. All you do is just pick that up and then you get the Codex of China trophy. You can move on to the next slot if you like, but the level end is very, very close. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to light a flare because this tunnel's a little bit, a little bit dark. Yep, level end is very close and then you'll get the no crazy golf trophy as well. So... <clears throat> Let's just uh, go down here. Like so. Okay. And what we're aiming for is that little platform over there. So just do a running jump over to there. Okay, I'm going to ditch the flare so I don't get what's called a flare death. Okay, and just line up so that you're in line with this platform. Okay, just do a sideways jump, hold jump, then grab. And that's it. Okay. And then it's just that doorway to the right there that you need to jump into for the No Crazy Golf Trophy as well. So let's jump into there. There we go. Then you get the No Crazy Golf Trophy along with that as a little bonus on that slot. Very, very nice. Okay, the next slot is 108. And this is for the Nervous Wreck Trophy. Now... There's numerous guides on that um, resource that I put in the uh, description for the Steam community thing. There is a video showing how to do this, okay? You just swan dive into the water, okay? And there's like these eels that try and bite you, okay? In this room, the way down is over there. I've killed all the enemies ahead of time, not the eels, because you can't kill them. And then just go down there, through this tunnel. Yep, yeah. these eels will be trying to bite you. Just move through them. Yeah, and swim to the end of the level, which is in this doorway over here. Now, there's no real tip to dodging them. Uh, I've found just swimming through, just keep reloading, trying to swim through there without getting bitten. And if you do that and finish the level, you get the Nervous Wreck Trophy. I just set that up there because people have had problems with that and not knowing where to begin. Yeah, so you swan dive in from here. Okay, make sure you don't hit the platform and go over there, like I said, okay? But this is not a full like game guide, so we're gonna move on to the next one here, okay? So this next one is for the No Unnecessary Moves trophy, slot 122, and all you need to do is pick the secret up, and this is for not breaking the floor panel to get the gold secret in the living quarters, okay? Which I've set up, so you just pick the secret up, because that can be a bit awkward as well, okay? Next one then, this one is going to be uh, very important to some people because this one is um, very hard boiled, which is complete the game using only pistols. Um, to the sins of um, Marco Bartoli, I've paused there as I've loaded in because there's a couple of things uh, to explain. And there is a bonus trophy on this as well, okay? I've saved this just as the dragon has been whittled down to very, well, to no health. But if you don't get there quick enough, it will get back up. So just run to its chest where the dagger is and spam the action button. It can be a bit glitchy. There we go. Yep, and uh, that doesn't actually get you the trophy, but there's just one more quick step. Okay, yep. For taking that dagger out of his chest, you get the, to the Sins and Fortunes of Mario Bartoli trophy. And all you do is, in whatever graphics mode you're in, just run to this end bit over here. That's it. Run and jump as you're running. Do not stop running down this tunnel because the, the ceiling's collapsing and, uh, yeah, you'll get killed by the ceiling, okay? But running and jumping, you move a bit quicker. So that's it, yeah? Just run to the end. Took a little bit of damage there. And for that, you'll get the very hard-boiled trophy um, as well, which is for completing the game pistols only. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Um, as a bonus on that save essentially let the dragon get back up and just keep running around it and then you'll get the dodge the dragon's fire attack five times okay you can then kill the dragon again and do it that way but if you do let it let him get back up make sure you're using pistols only to kill him 
because essentially then you won't get the very hard boiled trophy so i'm just letting you know i'd recommend doing it the way i just shown and then if you need the um no grill today for dodging the fire attacks five times reload the save and do it that way it's much easier okay so next slot then um, 173 is the next one and this is for the eco-friendly trophy which is beat the tibetan foothills levels on foot foothills level on foot this is a level with a snowmobile once you load in just run forwards down into that hole run forwards and you get the eco-friendly trophy okay because that that level is meant to be played on the snowmobile but it can be done without and that's what that trophy does there okay so next slot is for um, barkhang monastery okay 197 and that is um get through all of the obstacles without taking damage if you look through there there's a very awkward um, assault course which i've already completed and took no damage so you just pick up that item and then the trophy will pop for you lovely for the peer aspera ad astra trophy you can see how i've set these up it took a very very long time please stick a like on the video if you're enjoying this okay absolute torture getting these set up um 212 okay this one is for the the end doesn't justify the means trophy and i've saved this just before level end this is for completing barkang monastery without letting a single monk die and that took a lot of patience <laughs> i'm not kidding a lot of saves resaves reloads whatever yeah okay but it's done so the next slot is for the opera house 521 and this is no time for the plague um, this trophy is from across three different levels okay so this is don't let any rats bite across the three venice levels so just run forwards into the plane and you'll get the no time for the plague trophy and as you may know once i skip this there's a kind of unskippable cutscene where lara's kind of waking up so i'll get back to you when i can load for the final slot of tomb raider 2 okay so lara is back up and this is the final slot of the saves number 600 home sweet home okay and this is for i only play for sports still finish the game in under six hours okay so if you didn't kill the guy in the bathroom on the other saves i mean it's set up on these ones but i just showed you how to do it anyway and this is for completing the game in under six hours for the i only play for sports still trophy that's it and that's all of the, the save slots for tomb raider 2 that i've set up and bearing in mind i did prioritize hard trophies and trophies that span multiple levels yeah that's why um, i've picked the ones that i did i went through them all first picked them all same for all three games yeah so next up then we have tomb raider 3 i'll catch you in a moment and last but not least then we have the tomb raider 3 part of this video okay now these are set up much better after messing up the slot order for tomb raider 2 just a little bit i actually pre-planned every single slot where it's going to go for tomb raider 3 so at the top of this list there is all of the level selects now bear in mind for these level selects they're from the all secrets pistols only run and i'd collected almost everything up to that point um, i did use a small med pack at some point as well but no trophies in this game relate to using med packs or collecting all items so it, it doesn't really matter for this game most things have been collected i'd say like 95 percent. so you've got loads of ammo med kits flares and every possible weapon up till this point you may also notice on this list there is all hallows at the time of making this video the pc version um i think most versions all hallows is bugged that is a bonus level for collecting all secrets on previous levels but it's bugged where basically when you finish the game it should load into all hallows but it doesn't so i did have to use cheat engine to manipulate some level values but this essentially carries on from finishing meteorite cavern so all hallows can be used using this save file pack um, whereas usually you can't play it so <laughs> it is on there and there is some trophies relating to that further down this list where this um where the trophies actually begin from is 489 right here so all we want to do then is load 489 and for this it's the 
trophies for incredibly hard boiled which is finish the full game with pistols only i only play for sport always finish the game in six hours or less and this place has a busy history for finishing the antarctica chapter all you need to do for this just run forwards that's it that's it and then all three of them should pop if you've not cleared tomb raider 3 if you have cleared tomb raider 3 you won't get the this place as a busy history trophy because you would have got that for doing this your first time okay and there we go as you can see look 60 out of 60 um secrets found you can see all them level select saves are from this playthrough so five two three out of five four two so yeah, about 90 percent of collectibles okay that's plenty and usually it should load into all hallows there but it doesn't but i've got you a, a level select for um all hallows anyway so that's all good the next one then is 501 right here um, and this one is for the the adventures are getting harder beat new game plus same as before just run into the open gate there it is okay done yep lovely and then that'll give you the the adventures are getting harder trophy which is actually like a 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 percent trophy i believe okay <laughs> lovely stuff okay so next up is the krishna crushing trophy which is defeat the tony boss with a grenade launcher usually you don't have the grenade launcher up till this point it is a secret so for this you do have the grenade launcher ready he will be firing fireballs so make sure that you're not getting hit by the fireballs just run up to him here keep firing grenades dodging the fireballs till you hit him okay it can take a couple of goes okay because the grenades are not very accurate okay that's why it's a bit awkward okay that did actually work that time okay so he is now dead so you should have the krishna crushing trophy for that okay and all we're going to do is then run over to this platform yeah and pick up the item which gives you the Infada Stone Trophy, okay, for finishing the India chapter. Lovely stuff, two trophies there, quite easy. Bear in mind, his fireballs are a bit hit and miss, so if you get hit, just reload, keep trying that, and you will get it eventually, okay? Straight after that then, save slot 85. This is for the Codex of India Trophy. Um, on Tomb Raider 2, you get the trophy, you get the secrets trophy for picking up the item. On this, it's actually just entering the area. So for these codex trophies, which are like the next five save slots I'm going to show you, um, essentially I've set up as close as I can to the secret without it actually popping. Okay, so all you do is just load in, move forwards, that's it. You've got the trophy right there. Lovely stuff. The level end is very, very close. Yeah very very close indeed so you can just come out of here lob yourself forwards into the water yep and then in the waterfall the level end is like ridiculously close okay <laughs> i'm just trying to get out of here there we go the level exit is just in the waterfall up here okay if i can remember exactly where it is yeah it's just up there yep and then climb up and then run into this tunnel there we go Let's keep running forwards the level end is here there we go i knew it was there somewhere not only that um you'll get a monkey temple trophy for that which is don't kill any monkeys with your quad bike which is a lot more awkward than it sounds trust me okay so the next slot that we want is 162 according to my notes so let's have a look then 162 is right here and now we've loaded into that this jump is set up perfectly for you to just run forwards, jump, hold grab in the air. Yep, and then you land in this area. As soon as you move forwards, you'll get the chime for the trophy. That will give you the Codex of Nevada trophy. Now, before we proceed, there is actually three more trophies on this save, okay? These lasers can be a bit funny. So what I'm going to do is wait for that bottom laser to move away. Okay, just like so. And then run and jump over it. Yep, yeah, it can be like nearly instant kill them. Don't really matter. You've got loads of health. Once you've got past them lasers, just drop into here. And then you get the free willy trophy. Yep, yeah, which is for swimming with orcas. Yeah, as you can see, the orcas are in here. They don't damage you. Okay. And then you can reload that same slot. 162. Yep. Yeah. And uh, make your way down. I'm not going to go through all of this with you. Um, just make your way down. Okay, I'm just going to show you the, the route and then up into the identified 
unidentified flying object. Don't worry about that. That is like known. <laughs> it's not like an issue I can do anything about. Make your way through the UFO. Yeah, the identified UFO. There is a way up here somewhere. The, the level end is, it'll only take like an extra minute or so. Yeah, I can't remember where the level end is. There it is, that way somewhere. Up into here. Yeah, you might need flares in that area. Yeah, you can see how the level's glitched. That's fine. Once you've made your way into here, there will be a couple of enemies. Yeah, and then just pick up that item. And you'll also get the Element 115 trophy for finishing Nevada. And the Limbo Master trophy for... Um, not letting turret lasers lock on, but not turning them, uh, not turning them off either across two levels, which is also a lot more awkward than it sounds. You have to kind of go long ways around on them levels to avoid that from happening. That's how you get the other two trophies for that. Yeah, I just don't want to turn this into a full game guide, so I'm just giving you the rough idea of what to do. Okay, next up, 262, Codex of Polynesia. And in here, you just move forwards. Ching. there's the secret you'll get the codex of polynesia trophy not only that but the level end is also very very close once again so we'll roll drop down here yeah um and i'm i don't know if i'll actually fight the boss in here but choose your desert eagle there's two other trophies you can get here um faceless death that's for killing puna the boss without killing uh, his auras which are the green things that spawn and then picking up the aura dagger. I'll just show you where the boss room is. Okay, just took a huge amount of damage there. Just because I'm rushing through this is what it is. You don't have to pick any items up or anything. The uh, the boss stage is in here. Okay, as soon as you drop in, it's here. Yeah, I'm going to uh, grab a med pack. Essentially, he, is, he will kill you in one hit with them lightning bolts. Yeah, so whether I do this or not, not going to bother me too much just make sure you keep shooting jumping left to right and he shouldn't be able to hit you in theory yet you need to kill him before his auras spawn yeah so just keep up with this you might have to stand still for a second to get him to uh kind of shoot at you there we go okay and none of his none of his uh henchmen little green things have spawned so as soon as that happens just run up and grab the uh, the artifact there. So I have actually shown you how to do that. So for that, you get Faceless Death and Aura Dagger for finishing the South Pacific chapter, and obviously Faceless Death for killing Puna without his aura spawning or doing any damage to him. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'll wait until this is loaded in, and then I'll show you the next uh, bit. So next up then we have 353. This is uh, for Codex of England trophy. Yep, set up. All you need to do is crawl forwards and throw yourself in. Secret chimes, and it's done. The boss is already defeated in this area, okay? From here, I'm not going to go through the entire level, but you can drop out here. Might take a little bit of damage, but you've got loads of med kits. Yep, make your way up. Yep, you can run and jump across that gap up to here. Yep, um, can't remember the exact way up. Up to here. Up to here. If you've played the game before, this will all be nice and familiar to you. Yep. Up this ladder. Through the crawl space. Up to here. Yep. Um, <clears throat> from there, you can do a running jump over to that platform. And you can climb up onto this. Yeah. And then run and jump across, but don't land on that electri electrified floor. Flick that switch and it turns off the electrified floor. Pick up the artifact and then you get the Eye of Isis trophy as well. I'm just letting you know what other easy trophies are in this area. Okay, but the main ones I wanted to do was the Codex trophies. Because if you even play through Tomb Raider 3 once, then you're going to have these anyway. Because you have to pick these up, it's necessary. Okay, so next one then is for the Codex of Antarctica trophy. Okay. Now, beware of this. Um, as soon as you run forwards, you'll get the secret, but that'll start swinging as a trap, okay? So there's the secret for the Codex of Antarctica trophy. Um, not only that, once you dodge the fire trap, nice and easy. Crawl into this space, and as you can see in the inventory, if I look up here, 94 collectible crystals, okay? So as soon as you move in here and pick up that save crystal, you'll also get the crystals are forever trophy which i believe is like a 0.2 percent trophy 0.3 percent okay and from here 
um, in the description I will link a video by a really good YouTube channel covering Tomb Raider called uh, Badass Games um, and on this video um, at 29 minutes 30 linked in the description the save file carries on from this point and then you go into three different rooms um, which have different trophies in them yeah so there's um, the deep for picking up a med pack in the water room uncondition unconditional sense of rhythm for getting the mask from the fire room without using the lever like a naive child getting the trap from the med pack in the fire room uh, get the trap med pack in the fire room should i say and gone with the wind which is get all items in the air room that guide of his shows you where to go from here which is just dropping down here uh, up into this room yeah and once you get up here into this room yeah that room's already done there's no trophies in there these three rooms here on the left straight ahead and in here all have different trophies in them okay so just be aware of that just wanted to let you know that that there is more trophies very close to some of these other ones that i've set up okay so slot 48 say 48 whichever one okay this is for completing two india levels without any damage from spike traps okay so you just run forwards i did take some poison damage there but it doesn't matter and that gives you the eichmophobia trophy don't really know how to pronounce that but there we go <laughs> complete two india levels with no damage from spike traps you'll have I eichmophobia trophy for that <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a tongue twister on its own that one word okay so as soon as that's finished we can do 116 this is for um, two different quite difficult trophies in all honesty not difficult necessarily lost souls are forgiven which is killing none of the damn workers and ricky ticky tavi which is don't get bitten by any snakes across four different levels okay there's three india levels and one this one nevada level where that is the case so once you've loaded in you're right here i'm literally just going to hold the action button the drive button to jump over the fence and then you will have them two trophies pop for you that's it yeah Th those two are quite awkward trophies especially the lost souls are forgiven one because even when you're on the quad bike completely still if they run into you they die and they swarm you later in the game so yeah a lot of saving and loading to make sure none of them actually died there okay there is a slightly unskippable cutscene here so i'm just going to wait till i can get back to the load arrangement okay lara's come to her senses and uh, we're going to load the next one which is uh, number 470 this is for the largest assortment trophy and that is collect all weapons in a single playthrough when you load in you're going to be here just run forward and slide that's it and then you'll get the largest assortment trophy for collecting all weapons in a single playthrough yeah <laughs> lovely stuff um, i'd recommend loading real quick because you are on the final boss fight there um, and load 483 which is get to the chopper what you have to do for this one is actually um get past the final boss without actually killing him and get to this area and i've set it up where we're in the area so just run forwards okay and when you get to about here before you leave this tunnel it should pop for the get to the chopper yeah there is enemies in this area it will have popped for you already that trophy get to the chopper that one is otherwise very hard it even wishes you luck in the description so it tells you how hard that trophy should have been and the next one is 512 um, and that is for flying fox use all five zip lines okay this is set up where i'm stood at the zip line you don't need to move just use the zip line okay and you do have to let go if you don't want to die you do have to let go uh about there so you don't go off the edge okay and there is a trophy as well for all hallows which is finish the bonus level i didn't have any more save slots to do this but essentially i will link the badass games guide video uh, in the description for you to view yourself it carries on exactly from where i followed that guide up to here yeah 12 minutes 10 is where you want to be in that video okay so other than that that is literally all of the hardest trophies in the game right there okay if you have any requests for trophies that i've not included in this pack please let me know in the comments because once i've done save pack part two which covers all three games dlc 
I will just do like a medley pack, part three of trophies people are having problems with, and then I'll do a part three. Okay, so if there's enough requests for that, we'll do it. Yeah, it's all good. I am very much about 70% of the way through on these trophies. The game has 269 trophies. Yeah, that's a lot. And I've got most of them now from the main game. So that's all good. I'll tell you what, I would like to thank Badass Games real quick. I will link his channel as well, along with the videos I said I'd link, um, because I've used his guides extensively in making these videos. I would have been lost without that guy, you know. So big shout out to him. Go over to, to subscribe to him and let him know I sent you. He's never heard of me before, you know, but... His content's extremely good, about 3,000 subs, but extensive Tomb Raider guides, like better than any others I've seen. And I've, I've tried watching a few. So yeah, let him know I sent you, please. You know, send him the love from over here. I'm kind of a fan of his now after watching his videos for so long, not gonna lie. Um, other than that, I know this video has gone on a little bit longer than I thought it would, um, but I wanted to be a bit extensive in showing you all the trophies you can get from this from this trophy pack. Um, yeah, please subscribe for part two, which is going to cover all the DLC. I'm already like most of the way through the first game's DLC with that already. But it does take a long time to set these trophies up right. You have to plan out all your slots and everything. So, yeah, wish me luck on the trophy hunting journey. I'll be back with you soon for part two, probably a week or two at least, because it does take ages. It's been nearly a month grinding to get this set up the way it has. You know, along with trying to live life and everything. You know how it is. I'm rambling a bit now, but my apologies. Um, yeah, all the best, everybody. I hope you have a good time with that and uh, much love. All the best. Enjoy the trophies and I'll catch you again very soon. Bye-bye.